Hi everybody, it's me again, Lala. I'm here to talk to you today about a whole bunch of new things. Today, I want to introduce myself. My name is Susan Jackson, and I am a 74-year-old retired substance abuse counselor. And I came upon learning about essential oils a little bit late to the game. So I originally started learning about oil so that I could help my husband breathe in the higher elevation when we moved to Colorado. Since that time, I've learned a ton of stuff. In fact, I've learned so much stuff, I'm not even sure how to organize it in, in, a, in a short way. So I'm going to take a stab at it. Essential oils have been around for a long time. I didn't know that. I learned that. Frankincense, myrrh, I had heard of them, but I didn't know what they were. But I knew that my personal situation, working with depression and anxiety, was treated by something called antidepressant medications. And those had a lot of side effects. So personally, I stopped taking them, and that's when I began to realize essential oils and supplements would provide a better solution for me, a natural solution, a safe solution. In the meantime, recently, I've become acquainted with people who have what they're calling autoimmune system diseases various autoimmune system. I wasn't really sure what that meant. What I'm learning is that an autoimmune system disease is connected to the whole system. The body is the whole system. When I began to learn about essential oils, one of the first things that impressed me is that they talked about when you have a symptom, when you have an illness, you can treat that symptom, but that's not going to the root of the problem. With a cold, you can take um, an over-the-counter drug. If you have an infection, you can take an antibiotic, but that doesn't really address where did the infection come from? Why did you get the infection to begin with? And so when I look at autoimmune diseases, they're also connected to the system, what's going on with the system. Some part of the system is malfunctioning. Okay, not to get ahead of myself. When I first started with doTERRA, I was introduced to this little item, the pyramid. Well, what the heck did that mean to me? It didn't really mean a lot. I didn't understand what it meant. Today, I know that it means that there are levels in my life that will affect me and my health, and I can address each one of those levels. I'll tell you right now, one level is, for me, that I'm struggling with is water. I just don't like to drink water. But I know that my system needs water for it to function. Okay, so I want to invite you to come back, come back and see me. And let's take a look at what it is that we can do for ourselves to promote a better lifestyle, health-wise, emotions-wise, environmentally, all those things that make a difference. And we don't have to do it all at once. So if you want to come along, I'm going to start this new adventure of discovery and learning. And I want to give you some answers, but primarily it's going to be how can you find those answers that you need for your own situation? And that's where I come in. I can guide you. I can show you. I can introduce you to new ideas. Frankincense was something that was new to me. And frankincense today is 
my companion. I use frankincense in a roller bottle. I take a couple of uh, drops under my tongue. It's soothing. It promotes my immune system. And we'll talk more about the immune system and how that plays into the systemic approach. Or a better way even is to call it holistic. The holistic approach for me to find out why did I have depression? Why, why, did I, why did depression hit me so hard for so long? And one of the things that I've discovered is that my nutrition was not good. So we will revisit. We will discuss. If you so choose, I'd really appreciate it if you would push subscribe. And we can get to know each other. And I can share with you Thanks for joining me. I love you. Bye-bye.